Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video and today I just want to put together a quick video to go over a couple more PC related questions and also share some suggestions for best settings you guys might want to consider if you're picking up the PC version next month. So as always, if you do enjoy this video and you do find it helpful, then a like will be super appreciated and be sure to comment down below and let me know if you have any more questions. Also, just before we dive into the video, we also kicked off another giveaway today. We've got another limited edition God of War PS4 Pro to give away. So if you guys want to be in with a chance to win that, then click the link in the description box down below. It's a Gleam competition, so just follow the instructions on the page and you'll be entered. The competition runs for the next couple of weeks and the winner will be drawn just after the PC version of World launches. It's open worldwide, so everyone can get involved. Now onto the video. First up, widescreen support. This is a question I've had quite a lot since uploading the first video and showing off some of the settings. You guys wanted to know if you could play Monster Hunter in Glorious 21 by 9. Well, unfortunately, the game does not support it, at least not right now. I didn't have a widescreen monitor originally, so I went out yesterday and ordered one on Amazon Prime. It arrived today and I ran some tests for you guys. With the monitor plugged in, you do have 21 by 9 resolution options. My monitor is 3440 by 1440. However, even when you select this, it still gives you black bars either side. Now, there are third party programs that sometimes offer workarounds for this, but since the game isn't out right now, that's obviously not an option. I tested this in full screen windowed and borderless window and I even ran it through the borderless window gaming app some of you guys might be familiar with that but sadly nothing I did would let me play in full 21 by 9. What you're seeing in the background right now is what I recorded on my widescreen monitor and you can see the bars either side so unfortunately as nice as it would have been it seems 16 by 9 is the only way to go right now. However, somewhat related, if any of you guys have 1440p 16x9 monitors and find that the system settings aren't available by default, you can edit the config file to enable it. From Steam, you can right click the game, go to properties and then edit the resolution in the graphics config file. Don't touch the graphics config preset file, that's the default one, but the config one is the one that's created when you adjust your settings in game. You can change this to enable 1440p resolutions if you want. However, moving on from there, 269 was doing some testing on stream and found a few settings that'll let you run the game super smoothly and also make it look better too. I understand that some of you guys aren't too fussed about graphics since it's more about the gameplay, but for my PC friends out there that want to know how to get the most out of the game, this is for you. In the settings menu, while you can obviously run the game with an uncapped frame rate, depending on your PC spec, you might struggle at times. So dropping that down to a locked 60 sees the game run incredibly smoothly and still looks great in the process. And in addition to that, there's an option under advanced graphic settings called volume rendering quality. This controls the volumetric fog in game. It's more noticeable at certain times of day, but turning this off completely not only gives you a more vibrant and sharper image, but it also helps with the performance too. So this is something you likely want to consider trying out when you get the game yourself. Here's a little sample. You can see if I go from no volume rendering to low, you can see that fog appear and the colors are a little bit more washed out. The differences between low through high aren't as noticeable at this time of day, but ultimately the important factor here is between on and off. Sure, it might be more of a personal thing, but I really like the way the game looks with it completely off. So again, that's something to consider. But for the time being, that's pretty much it. Just a few quick updates since you guys had some questions and I figured this might be helpful to clear up some of those. Thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.